It is time now for our Wellness Wednesday segment. April is Head and Neck Cancer Awareness Month. These types of cancers account for about 4% of all cancers. SSM Health speech therapist Sarah Simon joins us now to talk about what to do to prevent them. Hello, thanks so much for coming on the show here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So let's first talk about what are head and neck cancers. Sure, so head and neck cancers are cancers that primarily affect the lips, mouth, tongue, throat, and voice box and a little bit less commonly the sinuses, nasal cavity, and salivary glands. So what are some of the risk factors of this? Sure, so the biggest risk factors are excessive alcohol and or tobacco use, also infection by the human papillomavirus, HPV. Other risk factors include um, exposure to toxic substances, radiation, and genetics in some cases as well. What are some of the signs and symptoms? Sure, so common signs and symptoms include a lump or a sore in the mouth and throat that just doesn't heal, a sore throat, uh, difficulty swallowing, sometimes difficulty breathing, changes to voice quality such as voice hoarseness, ear pain, and unexplained weight loss. At what point, if you're feeling some of these symptoms, should you go and, and see your doctor about this? That's a great question. So certainly early detection is better if you're noticing any of those signs or symptoms, making an appointment with your primary care physician, who will certainly refer on to more specialties if needed. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you've been diagnosed with maybe a form of cancer, are, are there some resources out there that kind of help navigate you through all this? Sure, so typically your doctor can provide a little bit more information. Um, with head and neck can cancer in particular, the Head and Neck Cancer Awareness Alliance is a great resource. There are support groups online and locally here in Madison for patients diagnosed with head and neck cancer. Okay, that is good to know. So SSM Health has a free screening event coming up. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So this is our first screening event. We are very excited. Mm -hmm. um, it is on Saturday, April 22nd, so next Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it will be at SSM Health's Turville Bay Radiation Oncology Center off of John Nolan Drive in Madison. I know some people are scared to go to the doctor. Can you yeah. talk us through what is the screening? Absolutely. What do you do? There's no needles, right? Hopefully no needles. we don't have no to, needles. to be scared. No pokey pokes. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> None of that. None of that. So we do have screening forms for participants to fill out, um, just talking about risk factors. They will meet with a provider. We have providers from ear, nose, and throat, medical oncology, and radiation oncology, so kind of the whole team. You will meet with one of those providers, talk about your risk factors, and then there is a non-invasive physical exam, looking in the mouth, the throat, feeling the neck, um, and then suggesting appropriate referrals if needed. That's great. And if you have some of these risk factors or, you know, genetic risk factors, is this something you should be thinking about earlier on in your life as far as staying ahead of and making your doctor aware of your family history? Sure, absolutely. If, if there is a family history of head and neck cancer, it is certainly worthwhile to bring it up. Typically, head and neck cancer is diagnosed a little bit later in life. It does not affect a, a ton of younger people. Um, but certainly with those risk factors, it's absolutely important to make those known. Okay. Really important information. Yes. Sarah, thank you so much for being Absolutely. here today. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You. Thank you.